And the way we go. For I ran Edel on or the main. Unavoidable delays. Salat, while well, we realize the outlying farm sustained damage in the storm, we regret to inform you we cannot facilitate repairs until our own restoration efforts are complete. Many buildings along Cat's Eye Cly, including piers and other vital port structures, were damaged in the storm and require significant renovations. Our architects estimate at least a month before they can begin rebuilding, further two before efforts are completed. Furthermore, the arrival of so many Dominion refugees from the wreckage of the Gold Fleet strains the Mistral Guard to capacity. Once Cat's Eye Cly is restored, we will endeavor to provide you with whatever you require. Thank you for your patience while we manage this crisis. Office of the Mistral Chancery. Wow. That sounds like an F.U. And believe me, I have heard some F.U.s in my time. Little quest marker. Young Khajiit wandered into camp last night, says he's looking for Hazak. If anyone asks where I am, I'm dragging this fool off to Hazak's hollow. He'll see the boss before his head and body part ways. We spotted Elvnary on the beaches. If you need me, send a runner up and around the hill above Hazak's hollow. Double back to the dock near the entrance. All right. So I am officially sticking my nose where it doesn't belong. As part of the Dominion, you will gain security. Mm. I've heard that before. That I hear your life. pain, old one. Windcatcher Plantation depends on the great tree, yet it sickens before my eyes. Our fates are like leaves in its branches. What's wrong with the great tree? Do you see that strange miasma? It appeared on the great tree after the hurricane, like a sickness. I've done what I can. But I fear it's not enough. Is there anything I can There's do? a cave directly beneath us. Come I called in. a spirit there to heal the great tree's roots, but it hasn't returned. Mm. Would you see what holds the spirit back? And aid it if you can. I'll help it if I can. I can feel the spirit's frustration. It wants to help the great tree, but something prevents it. How can I help the, the spirit? spirit is old and powerful. It seeks to move from root to root, aiding the great tree as it's able. But it's a healing spirit of singular purpose. It doesn't know how to defend itself. Is it in danger? I'm uncertain. If so, the spirit must be protected from harm while it heals the great tree's roots. It knows what it must do. And why is this tree so? Important? The great tree shield wind catcher plantation from the winter winds and keeps our settlement shaded from the heat of the summer. Its story entwines with ours. When the wind goddess Kanathi first traveled across the heavens, Legends say she grew tired and rested in the branches of a small sapling before resuming her journey. 
that sapling became the great tree and gave Windcatcher Plantation its name. Okay. Then we will go take care of this tree for you. Venom Skull Stamina Ability. And then down here, I am going to go ahead and slide Puncture there. There's a sky shot. So, another skill point. So, death size. Oh, nice. Now I'm doing some damage. Been a Quarma Master for over a decade. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm up to my neck in droppings, and I sure could use a hand getting out. What's the problem, my Ever friend? try piloting a ship through a hurricane while your entire cargo of Quarma eggs hatch and go bug nuts? Been there. Can't recommend it. After we wrecked, they made a Quarma line toward this cave. I came after them, but they're a bit mm -hmm. distracted. Distracted? They always get surly after hatching, but these Quama are downright unsociable. I tried to stop them from chewing on those huge roots. <laughs> they objected. Bumped into a fine-looking tree trunk on my way out, thought I was done for, but it kept walking. That's gotta be the spirit. Oh, and Quama didn't take to it, whatever it was. I heard them munching on it, same as those roots. Mm, the little ones seem scared of it. If you can help the pretty tree trunk do what it needs to do, I bet they'll head back this way. And the big ones? If they'd stop eating those giant roots, they might get better. But I don't blame you if you have to put down a few to save the rest. Just be careful. Nothing fiercer than a crazed Quama. Not even my sister-in-law. Dude, you're a jerk. Okay. So. I got this all set up. Bone armor. Yeah, got that all set. <laughs> I 
know what I was gonna do. I remember I've got on is the Hollow Jack set. I had my crafter make it up for me all special like. And we are going heavy armor with this girl. The Imperials get HP and stamina bonuses, so I am basically planning on making her a tank slash PvP character. Ifrey, the miasma has cleared, yet I sense this begins a new chapter for the Great Tree. Though the creatures gorge themselves upon its roots, this was a passing instinct. They can be taught to strengthen the Great Tree. Okay. The Quama will soon learn the cave is their nest and treat the spirit as their queen. Together, they'll guard the cave against intruders who seek to harm the Great Tree. A new story can frighten any creature until it realizes its role within. He's working our way through. I mean, realistically, we've got a fair chunk of Kanaka's boost here already. Questing. That's the Zax Hollow. Yeah, I may as well just go back on the... There we go. Storm on the horizon.
it's still ridiculous to me that I'm not even level 10 yet and I'm running above 2011 power, but... This is essentially what happens when you're playing with, like, level 700 champions on a new character, so... You don't know. Closer. Oh boy, another quest. Come no closer. Heed my words. You endanger more than your life should you approach. And what are you, my good friend? A foolish spirit. My ambition brought me low, but I won't allow it to happen to another. The book before you bears a terrible curse, as do mm -hmm. two others. You can hear it call to you, yes? Nah, just you. But how? Are you strong enough to resist their call? Could you bring them to the shrine and finish what I did not? Heed my words. The forbidden knowledge within those books isn't for this world. They must be destroyed. Tell me what I need to do. The curse upon each tome is designed to feed souls to oblivion. But if you are able to resist their pull, you can collect the tomes and bring them to the shrine for their destruction. Okay, so where's the shrine? On the shores of Carnarthy's Roost, beyond the town of Mistral. Mm -hmm. It is lit by an ever-burning flame. Gotcha. Should you collect all the tomes, bring them to the shrine without delay. No matter how strong you believe you are, I fear the tomes are stronger. Okay. Alrighty. Than expected. Let's see if it was worth it. Now you die. Not now, not ever. Creepy. Okay, looks like this was some magic research. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay. Is the illusion becoming its own reality, or have they accidentally connected them in some way? Could the false world bleed through? How exciting. 23rd sun tide losing control. Oh boy. Oh boy. Others injured yourself horribly and will need to be removed. That's why I've not been concerned about the time of mind. What could be causing this? My great surprise, everything in the basement was gone this morning. Subjects are nowhere to be seen. Ooh. Finally. Beza Joe will find this fabled brush. What? Please, no. 
This one will stop looking. raised you from birth. What would your mother say? Busy. If you would watch, do so from a distance. What is this place? You stand at the Temple of Two Moons Dance. Here, we learn and practice Riddlethar. What is Riddlethar? The way, the path, the road. Riddlethar is all of these, and none. For one, the road is a wall. For another, a wall of the way. We all seek our place in Jakaje. Riddlethar helps us find it. And how's that work? In the way one follows a map through a maze, one follows Riddlethar through life. Hmm. It teaches us to avoid and embrace danger, to fight and to run away, to accept change and to stave it off. How do you find a way maze out? contains many things, not simply a way out. The best mazes hide many sweets behind traps and crevices. <laughs> Riddlethar is not so much a way out of the maze, as the way with the most sweets along the way. So what's at the end? Jakaje. It is what we all hope to achieve. Uh, okay, what's Jakaje? The lunar lattice, where all fates are bound. Our place in the universe. For the Khajiit, anyway. So an afterlife? <laughs> One should hope not. If we are lucky, we reach Jakaje long before then. Otherwise, what is the point, yes? Then what is it? It is different for everyone. For some, it is to become king and rule over the little people, yes? <laughs> we should all be so lucky. For others, it is death. You have some experience with this, no? What do you know about it? Only that you have had your sugar stolen. A curious he thing that Inisashujo does not envy you. Still, Keep your head about you, and you will find the way. Good advice. Blow the wind from his lungs. <laughs> Putting enemies off guard. Mm -hmm. Rise up from below.
Uh. Waxing Crescent. Waning Crescent. Here we go. Waning Gibbous. And here we go. Another side quest. All this wasted effort. First the hurricane, then rats from the sea. What next, flying mud crabs? Surrender's mercy. We need more time before the inspection. What inspection? Dominion inspectors. Headwoman Harani requested their aid to stop smugglers. We're honest farmers with good customers. Our moon sugar is used to spice food, not to brew skooma. When the inspectors learn we can't protect our fields, we're finished. Protect them from what? Hairy, squirmy, squeaky little rats. They've infested the plantation since the storm. The inspectors will ask, if we can't protect our fields from those dung-dropping sugar-eaters, how can we protect them from skooma-brewing thieves? What can I do? Find out why Cindertail's singe tigers roll on their backs instead of filling their bellies with rats. Does one expect to keep his job if the inspectors find vermin in our fields? What will they do? At best, the inspectors will recommend our moon sugar be confiscated. What about it? To the east, a plantation burns. Was it due to the inspectors' recommendations? Mm. Who can say? Either way, Mistral will weep for our passing. With laughing moons gone, skooma will flow through the streets. How so? When moon sugar runs dry, people turn to smugglers. With smugglers comes skooma. But the inspectors aren't from here. If we tell them, they will not listen. Okay, so if I help you, where should I start? Find out why Cindertail's singe tigers roll on their backs instead of filling their bellies with rat. Does one expect to keep his oh. job? So we've had to do that. Oh, I got 20 more spots. Mm -hmm. That's all around. Mm -hmm. Not so lazy now, yes? You let the rats get the better of you, and you call yourself warriors. I send it out. Want to buy a carpet? How about three? They aren't good for much else. Yes, Afe, even you. What's wrong with the bench tigers? Do not eat the rats, this one says. Do they listen? No! Stupid cinch. Lazy cinch. They already did. That's the problem. Moon sugar makes you sleepy if you eat too much. Rats eat moon sugar, sench eat rats, and then lazy sench. Especially you, Gobani. I got ya. So can you get a move? Not with sugar bellies. These useless sench could only kill a rat if they fell upon it. From a great height. Okay, so what do we do? Go inside, lock the doors, wait until they leave? No. Let this one think. Without sench hunters, what could... Thunderbugs. What about thunderbugs? Thunderbugs nest nearby. They defend their delicious eggs from anyone who'd make a meal of them, yes? If you grabbed an armload of eggs... Undoubtedly, 
but they'd hesitate to harm the eggs once you possess them. Smash an egg into each rat nest, and the Thunderbug's electric frenzy kills the rats before the inspectors arrive. You're sturdy, yes? A little shot won't stop you. Okay, let's see if this works. Wonderful! Save some eggs for Cindertail, yes? They are so very tasty. Oh, boy. Thunderbug. Oops. Block his guide to keep in touch with Sench Tiger. The mind of a Sench Tiger is like its tail, weaving impossible shapes before pouncing on its prey. You are that prey, too bad for you! But grab hold of the tail and the Sench Tiger does exactly as you want, as long as your grip remains firm. In theory, one could lead a Sench Tiger about by its tail forever, but Anzara does not recommend it. Senches are quite fast, very strong, and entirely capable of holding a grudge. Much better to seize the mind, but how to do this? The first understand that, like Khajiit, the Sench Tigers have power to sleep to. They also have fine noses and will track new sugar down wherever it hides. In pockets, though, walls and the bellies of close friends, anyway. Fortunately, the Sench Tiger's appetite for sugar is only so great. By keeping your son on a steady diet, you can manage its more aggressive desires with more useful pursuits, like rat catching. You need to only know how much moon sugar is enough moon sugar, that's where it gets tricky. Sench sweet tooth waxes and wanes with the moon, starting with the phase under which it was born, ending with the lunar opposite. Size is a factor, also, larger sench require more moon sugar. Ba 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 ba! Okay! I do not know what's going on with that, but let's try one over here. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> I could use a break. Last one! <laughs> So much to do, so little time. There's no question, Jurandal. Clever luring thunderbugs out of their mounds like that. A scheme worthy of ban- Excellent. Our gracious inspector has been most patient with us. Perhaps witnessing your ingenuity will affect his findings. Is there anything I can do? Joan and Joe dance kindly with you, Walker. Whatever the findings of our esteemed inspector, we are in your debt. Thank you.
Naturally. Will you be dining with us as well? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, dark knowledge. Um, that will not be necessary. Kajiti fare is too cultural for my palate. It's not going to work this time. Okay, how do we get up there then? Ooh! Computer scene. Trade caravan coming in from Mistral. the ritual cub. To the text from Elda Hall, the inducer to the count is unreadable and cannot be salvaged. Like so many alien records, I've translated the intent to execute to the best of my ability, but have had to infer the meaning of some unclear terms. In truth, I'm relieved that no more can be read. The original of its grotesque and unnerving diagrams will be sent back to the preservation. I pray I will be permitted to leave this place soon. Pliability of this material, so vital, so bitty to my tools. This was a subject yearning for ascent to the ultimate purpose of its form. Vision of the shape and method took me immediately, and I stilled the form, stopped at sight and speech, stood it in the workspace, 
ordered the servants to stay and bear witness to a perfect example and began the dedication rituals. And to it I sang and hummed and whispered, the cage of the heart gave assent, and unfurled with no splintering, no cracking, the life's rhythm persisting. I ordered fine silver chains, and to each link I inscribed a hundred words for bliss, and I wrapped the cage and trunk all around to best display the organ at work. Such joy, it must have been that blood made pleasure, watched the work, guided my movements, a new inspiration came upon me, and fervently I grasped the side orbs between implements, I blessed it with the wings of Welkin, gently grafted and obtained at great expense, I extended its blood path to delicate web with the- oh. Oh, messenger beast redeemed. Ow! At last, this book had best be worth the price. a bit of a problem. Okay. Now I gotta go all the way back up there to the ruined shrine. We are gonna see this through the end of this mission, but this mission is gonna be my last one for tonight. We got a good chunk of Kanagi's roots done. Holy shnikes. Like seriously. One zone quest done, partly through another one. That works. Yeah, we're gonna have to start investing in the armors relatively soon. Ah, for now.
Lots of stuff that my other characters would love me for picking up. This is why it's good to be part of the Cat Palace Trading Company. Something to be said for the immersion with that. Pain lies ahead. Turn back, master. This is not the place for us. This one does not understand. This shrine is supposed to be lit with an ever-burning flame. Perhaps Shehir Adaro has thrown good money after bad. And who is you? A simple Khajiit, doing what she can to survive. Shehir Adaro came to this shrine for guidance. It said the flame gives visions to those who seek it. And what do you Answers see? to unasked questions. Mysteries defined by the stars themselves. And if Shehir Adaro makes some gold along the way, all the better. Mm -hmm. The shrine is key to all of these things. Okay. It's a shrine to Hermaeus Mora, ah, the ancient prince of knowledge. Hermione. They say if you stare into the fire, all will be revealed. But without the ever burning flame, there is no way to find the lost books. What lost books? Holmes, lost to the ages. They're full of secrets from an earlier time. Mm -hmm. A connection to our past, and a bridge to our future. It doesn't matter what lies the spirit told. Sahira Doro will find those books. What do you mean, the spirit lied? While searching for the shrine, a spirit appeared to me and warned me away. Don't you see? Hermaeus Mora rewards the pursuit of knowledge. Mm. The spirit is a test to keep lazy seekers away. Gotcha. That's her. It's the lying spirit. Don't listen to these fool's words. The forbidden tomes must be destroyed. Place them in the shrine's flame. Quickly. There is no flame. What? That isn't possible. No matter. I'll rekindle the shrine's fire with my own essence, but you must promise to destroy them. You saw what happens to those who possess the tomes. Nothing bad has happened to me so far. Then that is a blessing. Once the books begin calling to you, there is little time before they ensnare you completely. Burn the books. Don't let their burden destroy you. Okay. Um, goodbye. Mm. I'm gonna be a little evil. You have the books? Then luck truly favors my path. Do not listen to the lying spirit. This knowledge, this one, knows the proper care and handling of old texts, also the importance of trade. To you, these books are useless things, but to me, they have value. Hand Sihiradaro the books in return for value. Just think, no more spirit to natter at you. Yeah, okay. Here, have the books. You are full of surprises. And to rest any fears you may possess, Sahira Daro will bring them to the scholars at the Temple of the Crescent Moons. This one will do nothing with the books until they are certain no dangers lie within. And this Not that knowledge can be dangerous. 
an old trinket, but this one always felt it brought her some luck. Perhaps it's what led us to meet at this shrine. What fortune! should examine her purchase. That's what happens. <laughs> I'm not upset at all. That's awesome. Okay, so assistance. There's this. And Azabi. And ba -ba 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 -ba. and meal and experience scroll and Cedric Ambrosia. There we go. Okay. Bird in your path. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call that good for tonight. I will see everybody else real, real soon. We can do another hour or two tomorrow if everything works out well. And we will get a little further in Canarthi's Roost. So thank you for joining me. Um, talk to you later. And if you're catching this on YouTube, go ahead and give me a subscribe or a like. Thank you.